Hi everyone, I'm Marcy, and today I'm making calabacitas. It's Mexican-style squash made with corn and cheese, and for me it's just comfort food because I grew up eating it all the time. If you have a picky eater at home, or maybe you have kids who don't like to eat their vegetables, I bet they'll eat this because it is delicious. So hit that subscribe button and let's get cooking. This is one of those recipes that's passed down from generation to generation, and most of us learn by watching. There's not necessarily a written recipe, so I'm gonna try as best I can to figure out the amounts as I go, and I'll also put them in the description box below. But here's what you're going to need. A variety of squash. I'm using three zucchinis and three yellow squash, and I like to pick them when they're relatively small because that's when they're most tender. This is probably about a third of a cup of finely chopped onion. You'll need about two ears of cooked corn. You can also use a can of whole kernel corn, just drain the liquid. You'll need some grated cheddar cheese. This is about a cup, or you can also use Colby or Munster or Monterey Jack. Those also work in this recipe. And this is probably about a half a cup of milk. You can also use a heavy whipping cream and again, that's not the exact amount. I'll know better when I pour it. And then we're going to need some hot water, which I'll get at the last second, and then some salt and pepper to taste. The zucchini and squash have already been washed, so the first thing I'm going to do is slice it up. Some people cut it into cubes, but I like it like this, just because I think it looks prettier. But either way is fine, so long as you keep the size consistent so that it cooks evenly. Next, I'll go ahead and cut the corn kernels off the cob and break them up a bit with my hands. But again, you can use corn from a can and save yourself some time if you'd like. Then I'm going to heat up a large frying pan, setting my stove to a medium-high heat. And when it's hot, I add in enough olive oil to coat the bottom. And then I'll just toss in the squash and fry it up a little. After a couple of minutes, I add in the chopped onion and let that fry as well. Finally, I add in the corn and just give it a good mix. And then I can pour in some hot water, just enough to where it almost covers all the squash. And I actually put in a little too much this time, but you get the idea. Lower this. Now you can lower the heat and let it all simmer for about 10 minutes. When you see that the squash is tender, you can add a little milk. Season with plenty of salt and pepper. Need more pepper. And then add in as much or as little cheese as you like. Turn it off. When it's all melted, your calabacitas are done. It's super simple, but you can see why it's a staple in so many homes. Doesn't this look so good with all the beautiful colors? You know, you can serve this on its own or you can serve it as a side dish. For me, I make calabacitas quite a bit and every time I make them, I serve them with freshly cooked pinto beans and New Mexico spoon bread, which is a family favorite. And I'm gonna share that recipe with you next week. But right now I'm gonna taste the calabacitas. Mm. It's deliciously tender with melted cheese and corn mixed in. It just feels like fall. Although truth be told, I make this year round. You know, that's a great thing about this. It's really a healthy meal. If you're trying to cut back on meat maybe, 
This is all vegetarian and so, so yummy. I really hope you try it. Thanks so much for checking out my video. Let me know what you think in the comments. And as always, be sure to subscribe, like, and click the notification bell. You can also follow me at Marcy Inspired on Instagram and Facebook. Until next time, blessings from my kitchen to yours. Mm -hmm.